In this video, I answer the five most asked questions about Star Wars Miniatures Game 2.0. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday we saw the announcement of Star Wars Miniatures Game 2nd Edition, or 2.0 as it's also being called. And I've had a little bit of time now to delve through all of the information that there's been online. And there's been a lot of questions that have been asked either on forums, on my video, or in my Facebook group as well. So I thought what I'd do is I'd take the five most asked questions and answer them for you now. So the first question is, will I need to buy multiple conversion kits? Certainly if, I, if you've already been playing from version 1. And the answer to this is maybe. Now, it depends upon your collection and also what point cost the ships will be in version 2.0. So as an example, if you currently play an Imperial 8 TIE Swarm in 1st edition and the point costs for those ships stay the same, then you will need to buy two Imperial conversion kits. Now, these are priced at $50 each. So we can expect probably 50 pounds in the UK. And that, that's what you'll need to be able to play those same ships in version 2.0. Now the conversion kit only has enough dials and cards for four of those TIE fighters. So if you've collected multiple ships for all of the different factions, you may need to buy multiple conversion kits, which is not ideal in anyone's book. Now this for me is the biggest token point online at the moment. Uh, from the announcement of second edition if you've been playing the game for a while it's going to cost you quite some money uh, just to be enable you to play your first edition ships in second edition potentially up to 300 dollars and not including the move of some ships from the first order and from the resistance into their own factions also if you only have a few ships and you've been playing this game quite casually in first edition it may cost you more in conversion packs than you've actually already spent on ships. So this, at the minute, it feels very focused upon new players who haven't entered into the game yet and have maybe been keeping away from it because it's been quite confusing, uh, quite, quite confusing rather. There's been a, a lot of different ships and the, the meta has been a little bit restrictive at getting new players in. It's a great starting point for those players. For anyone else that plays it either casually or very highly competitively, this is going to be an expensive move, I think. The second question is, do I need to buy the X-Wing 2.0 core set if I already play 1st edition? And again, the answer to this sadly looks like it's going to be yes. Uh, the damage deck cards that you need to play in 2nd edition are different from the ones that are in the core set from 1st uh, edition. There's also an additional movement template, which is a, a one straight maneuver, which doesn't come in version 1 that you'll need for version 2. Now you could pick this up as an aftermarket thing. However, there is a, a visually different um, upgraded damage deck which sees the cards being bigger than the, the small size that you get in the core set and, and have some nice kind of um, artwork on them. So in theory, you could be able to get this additional uh, damage deck and maybe pick up that template as an aftermarket one. However, again, the problem with this is it seems like that damage deck is only going to be available uh, if you pre-order the second edition core set. Now that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. If, if you're going to buy the core set, you're going to get the new damage cards anywhere. Surely the people that need this alternative deck are people that are buying the conversion sets. Um, so it would have been nice if this damage deck came with the conversion sets. Unfortunately, it looks like you're going to have to buy the core set to get the damage cards. Now I'm sure there'll be some aftermarket sales of people splitting down uh, core sets and things. But it's not an ideal situation for anybody already playing and upgrading into version 2. The third question is, is the Squad Builder app going to be free? Now, at this point in time, uh, it, the answer officially is unknown. However, if I had to make an educated guess, I'd say it probably is going to be free. Now, the point costs for the ships and the upgrades has now been removed from the cards in version 2 and will only be available through the app or, or the website version of the app as well. It's an integral part of the game, and I'd be really, really surprised if Fantasy Flight decides to uh, have, have this as an additional cost. They certainly have free apps for games like Imperial Assault uh, and Descent, which really kind of show where they've been going with some of their apps over recent years. And these core sort of apps are, um, are free. Now, 
This is pure speculation, but there may be additional content added to the apps at a later date, which uses kind of microtransactions to unlock things. But again, it is just pure speculation on my behalf. Personally, I think the basic squad builder app should be free. Fourth question is, what if I don't have a smartphone or a tablet? Can I still play version 2.0? Now, there is going to be a website version of the app and it will enable you to build your lists and you can either print them out as a, as a PDF uh, and print them out with a printer or you could potentially even manually write them down. Once you've built your list, you could potentially manually write them down if you don't have a printer or you don't have access to a printer. Now, you will need access to the internet in some form to be able to do this and I guess Fantasy Flight's assumption is that most people these days have some form of access to the internet. Now, if you don't have access to the internet, well, firstly, you're probably not watching this video. And secondly, this is going to be an issue for 2.0. Uh, you can, of course, um, you, can play, you can still play version 1, and you could potentially just use the point costs from version 1 if you're just playing locally and you don't have any access to the internet. But unfortunately, 2.0 is going to be based upon you being able to access the app or the website in some form. And the last question is, are the dice from first edition going to be the same dice in second edition? Now, I've not seen this confirmed uh, on any of the forums or, or by, by Fantasy Flight. However, on the forum for the 2.0 questions, somebody has posted that the designer has confirmed in the, uh, in the announcement that the dice will be the same. They certainly look the same from the images I've seen online. Uh, so it looks like there won't be any uh, need to buy extra dice if you already have them. So that's the five most question, uh, five sort of the questions that seem to crop up the most online. If you think I've missed any or there's any questions that you have that you'd like me to cover maybe in a, in a further video, please leave me uh, a message down in the comments and I'll get back to you on those. Personally speaking, I'm kind of torn about this move to 2.0. If you take the cost element out of this, it's a really good idea to, to rebalance the game, to um, improve the rule set, tidy up some of the, the, the confusion that's being caused by power creep over time. And I also like the idea of the point being on the app, which means they can rebalance it in the future and it doesn't make all of your cards redundant. However, those conversion kits are really expensive. The price of them I think it's been a real kick in the teeth for anybody that's been playing this game long term and certainly people who are really heavily invested and may need to buy multiple versions of those uh, conversion kits. So time will tell how the player base reacts to this, but certainly the, the news has been a little bit mixed, I think we could say. So thank you for watching this video. If you've liked this and you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss any more uploads from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.